How's it going? Jacob Doherty, jacobdoherty.com. Here to make music with purpose and take your songs from idea to reality. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Kendrick song, also inspired by Nas. Always. Jacob was his name, no way he lose. And he screws in a college, why is he living? No dream, he's clean, just follow the team. Hoodie, nerdy, it's not as it seems. Uh. Yeah, four years later, the way the name. I am not the same. I have learned the game. Necklace, Nikes, a watch on time. Sitting in my studio, writing my It's done in front of I feel blue. Too many notes can't tell who's who. Scream honestly, honestly, I have one. I paid, got laid, I still feel the same. Sick of the game, I am sick of the rain. Collecting pain to grow with aim. When will it end? I can't defend myself, my wealth, my health. Sacrificed everything, everyone's gone. No one cares that I won. So I'm done. Fighting, no hiding. This one's pretty much based on Count Me Out, which is my favorite song off the album. So of course, themes from Kendrick Lamar, we're gonna have hip hop, we're gonna have some kind of beat, we're gonna have some 808s, we're gonna have some deep and meaningful lyrics. So at this one, I didn't have a specific theme when I started writing. I kinda just wanted to come from the heart, talk about things that I'm going through, whatever. And that's kinda the point, that's kinda what Kendrick does. So I kinda followed his rubric for that. So Kendrick, of course, everyone knows him for his lyrics, he's a rapper, so that's where we started. So I consulted my handy dandy journal and we made pages and pages and pages of lyrics. But of course, instead of just writing lyrics based on what I know, I did some research, looked up how to write lyrics like Kendrick Lamar. I was also inspired by Nas, how he uses storytelling in his songs. And here's some things I've learned. I think it was Nas that gave me this outline, but number one, you want to establish the character. Number two, you want to motivate the character. Number three, you want to move it through time, so an actual story. And four, small details make big descriptions. Where do we go from here? What happens after that? So as you heard in that verse, that was what I did. So I created a character, Jacob, my past self, Jacob. I motivated the character, talked about his dreams and aspirations. And then I moved him through time. So four years later, Dewitty's the name. Now he's a new person. That's me, Dewitty. Talked about his motivations, added some little small details about where I'm at, and of course, where do I go from here. So that was just a really, really cool and fun way to write a verse. Picked out the best rhymes that I could find. I like to use a site called Rhyme Zone. So every time I can't think of a rhyme, just use that site. And then of course, we had to make the beat to rap to. So Kendrick had a lot of, a lot of choir vocals, he had a lot of background vocals. That really fill out the song. I think the beats and some of his songs are really simple. It's really the choir and his vocals that fill it out. I am fighting no hiding. One of these days will be alright. With the life I chose, it's gotta fight. I know it shows it's gotta right. Cause this is me, put it all on me. So I use a really similar chord progression. It's kind of interesting because instead of just a two, three, four, just like a you have a turnaround between each one. This little turnaround here. Really cool arrangement trick. Instead of just repeating that. So yeah, of course, I wrote that melody. I wrote out the chords first, of course, then made a melody and then added some instruments and then wrapped above that. So all this, of course, I recorded on my MIDI keyboard or on my piano. So we have some simple chords here. So that was the main piano riff. We have, this was like a synth kind of thing. Just add a little counter melody there. Then we have some more counter melodies, just some little high pianos, kind of piano riffs. And that kind of mimicked or repeated the other, that synth. And then of course we have stuff that's only in the choruses and that really adds to the mix, just ambience.
so that's two different kind of sounds layered on top of each other plus we have that arpeggiator that's doing the do -do 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 -do, all that kind of stuff so i just added something else to the song in the specific song that i'm inspired by he used two different kind of bases so he had like the synth bass here oh here's a bass guitar i used the bass guitar here And then, of course, we add 808s. And then a really simple drum pattern. Yeah, and then, of course, we arrange it in different ways. And then, of course, different layers, just a whole bunch of layers of vocals. We have this choir vocal. Of course, more harmonies. <laughs> I really like those pitch bends for whatever reason. For some reason, it just fits with the mix. So we've got the songwriting done. We've got the instruments done. Now it's time to produce it. So now into the producing, there's a lot of cool arrangement tricks that he did. So here at the beginning, mainly I just brought in different instruments at different times. So we have just vocals in the beginning. One of these days we'll be all right with the life I chose. It's gotta fight. I know it shows it's gotta right because this is me. Put it on my mind. And that's just that little synth kind of melody, the piano, vocals, and a snap. And then of course we bring in the bass guitar. Scores a game to them, I blast again. Done, it's done, let's choose my fights. Better hoops that go get it, yeah, that's me. And then we change the bass right here. It's me. Girls and money are hard to see. What's wrong with me? I think I know. Chase too much, shut down too much. My words were weak, didn't act unique. Fixed it all, yeah, built to a wall. Failed and acted like anyone else. So might as well fight and be myself. Then drop it. Might as well fight and be myself. And then we just change the style completely. We have a completely different kind of instrumentation. We still have that piano, but we have different synths, some ambience. And then the vocals are in a completely different style. We also have some harmony. And then that, this riser down here really builds into that chorus. You expect it to rise all the way into the chorus, but instead it drops. We did a really similar thing where we just, just drop stuff out at different times, especially during this first something Kendrick likes to do. Yeah, four years later, the way he's living, no dream, he's just follow the team. Hoodie, nerve, he's not at the team. Uh, yeah, four years later, the way he's living, I am not the same. So especially it fits with those lyrics, sort of like a transition between the Jacob and DeWitty. Drop everything out, you can clearly tell that there's a distinction. So yeah, just adding different effects like that. So we have so many different elements, you know, different bases. Like, th there's three different bases. There's completely different instrumentation there's all these different vocals and that's what Kendrick likes to do he has he likes to arrange it in unique ways that you don't expect and of course can't quite match his lyric content but I did my best I also study his flow a little bit I think Kendrick thinks like a drummer he adds like 16 notes and eighth notes and then sometimes triplets stuff like that that's what makes him unique so yeah producing I just wanted to get that simple hip-hop vibe in there we wanted to bring the vocals up above everything, but also have these background vocals still in the background. So, of course, that means panning different ones different ways. We live in no dream, he's going to follow the team. Hoodie, nerve, he's not at the team. Uh. So, as you can see, I have the low end, mostly in mono. So, that's the bass guitar, the 808s, I like to keep in mono, all the bass, stuff like that. Of course, I like to keep the drums in mono as well. So, that gives more space, so... The different synth counter melodies, all the ambience can be panned different ways. Even the pianos can be panned different ways. That just gives it more space. And of, co of course, vocals. Same thing. Just pan it all different ways. All these different kind of... We live in no dream, he's going to follow the team. Hoodie, nerve, he's not at the team. Uh, yeah, four years late. So here in this chorus... I 
So basically we have a lead take, which I you really comped. So basically what comping means is I did like 20 vocal takes, comped the bends of each one, exported that. And then even here I had comped a little bit of more. And so we have the main vocal. So how I can win. Tell me why I can't win today. So this was the main vocal right here. That was another layer. Then we did more takes, comp that, and we did one to the left, completely a different take, and then a different take all the way to the right. So it's basically like three different people singing, even though it's all me. So that's how you get that chorus effect. Pan this one all the way right, pan this one all the way left, have this one in the center. Show me how I can win. Tell me why I can't win today. And then we had a lower one. Show me how I can win. Tell me why I can't win today. That one was just to beef it up because these were kind of breathy and not super powerful. I wanted more powerful. So that's kind of, that was the same thing, just more with, in a different vocal style, basically. And then, of course, because he likes to arrange things so differently, I kind of, I dropped different stuff in and out. And then this one, this is a really cool effect I like to do. Have one vocal phrase to the left, the next one to the right. Show me how I can win. Tell me why I seem to lose always. I think I decided to keep that mainly, but and that is a cool effect you can do. Have one book phrase to the left, one to the right. And of course, added this little choir thing with just a bunch of different harmonies. Sound like a gospel choir, basically. I can win. Tell me why I seem to lose always. I can win. Tell me why I can't win. And I am a bass, so of course I have to exploit that. My vocal style is bass, so I can really make a bass with my voice, basically. But yeah, that's chorus vocals. Of course, the verse, just mono, just very simple. These days I'm gonna be alright with the life I chose. It's gotta fight. I know it shows. It's gotta right. Cause this is me. Put it all on me. I thought I'd hurt. They're shaming me. You can tell the reverb I used. I wanted to sound kind of dry, but also sound like I'm in a studio or something. Me. I'm gonna really wanted to exploit those syllables, bring those syllables out a lot. Just layering different vocals different ways, layering different instruments different ways. We have this, these little plucks that we do. His name, no way he lose. The screws in a college. Why is he living? No dream. He's clean. Just follow the team. Hoodie nerdy is not as a team. Uh, yeah, for Of course, the bass. Still got those counter melodies here. Still got the piano. The chorus is just completely different. More thick chords. Then we have three different things going on here. You got the sort of organ kind of thing. You've got that fairy sparkle. And you've got that arpeggiator. And one thing I did in the, this chorus is I had this kind of bass first. So it was up. But then I did the 808, so it kind of sounds like it went down. Same with the vocals. Show me how I can win. Show me why I seem to lose always. Always. And of course, this isn't fully finished. I'd add a little bit more vocal automation here. I definitely mix and master a little bit more for sure. Added some different risers. Here in this last chorus, I decided to build it all the way up and then just drop everything. So that's just a cool little effect, just dropping stuff in and out that's arranging. And of course, 
all my songs have a piano solo in the bridge. So that's not unique to Kendrick. That's just unique to me. If you hear a song and it has a piano solo in the bridge, you know it's me. <laughs> So yeah, again, we just used MIDI keyboard for that. I just played around on the piano until I found solo that that's just improv. I just kept improving until I got something that's good. And of course, we got EQ. You already know we did the vocals, EQ, compression, a de-esser. Use a little bit of auto tune, but not too much, of course. Uh, delay, reverb, you know, standard vocal stuff. Panning. And of course, after this, we'd bounce it out and master it. One cool thing I did with the hi-hat, I usually like to use Panomatic. So it's not just in the center. It's all the other drums are in the center. But because the hi-hat is going back and forth, it makes the drums feel like it has a wider effect. And of course, I varied the rims and snaps. I layered that. So as you can hear, it starts with just just a clap and then snaps. So we just wanted to vary up that as much as possible. Keep the listener interested. That's what Kendrick does very well. And then we just fade it out in the end. Yeah, that was me making it sound like Kendrick Lamar. If you want any of the gear I use, mixing mastering services, or you just want to listen to my music, all that's linked down below. If you like this video, you can watch this next, and I'll see you there.